Funny story. So after successfully managing to spend my parents savings on completing my bachelor's, I decided, nope, that's not enough. I had to waste their money and get my master's done in Australia. Makes me realize my parents just love me too much to say no to me. As it was my first time traveling abroad, I had to look for a travel buddy. Yep, a 24-year-old who never stepped foot in any other country. Oh my god, I'm 15 and I've traveled in 9 different countries. So my agent shared a number of this girl who also got an admit from the same university as mine. For the sake of this video, let's give her a fake name. Let's call her Rose. Over the days, we became good WhatsApp friends. <laughs> Kidding, that's not what happened. We decided to book the same flights and look for accommodation so we could live together. So Rose is four years younger to me and she had traveled to Australia, New Zealand, Dubai and several other countries in Europe. She was well seasoned with all the airport jazz. She could find her way to the flights, make rational decisions, be responsible and independent. And me? I got lost in a park. Yep, a freaking park! For some reason, we couldn't get our tickets on the same flight. Our flights departed 30 minutes apart. So I was gonna land in Sydney 30 minutes before her. I was already freaking out but couldn't do anything. So I told myself to calm down. Finally, the day arrived. My mom and dad helped me pack four bags. Three of them filled with clothes and other essentials. And the Indian that we are, one bag full of spices. And of course, Indian snacks. There was chuda, chaklis, laddus, freaking yummy spicy banana chips. I was very excited. Also nervous, to be honest. I got on my flight and was on my way to my first stop, Singapore. I had no time to explore the airport and the butterfly garden that everyone told me about. That made me sad. Very sad. I got on my second flight straight to Sydney. And you know what? The best thing about this flight? I'll see! Woo! You see, window seats are good and everything. But how long are you gonna stare at those clouds? They're boring. Middle seat is the worst. Imagine you're standing in the bus. And people are standing next to you with their arms up high. And you're sandwiched between two smelly armpits. That's middle seat. But I got aisle seat. It was like being God's favorite child. The journey was nice. The food on the flight was awesome, said no one ever. My flight landed on time, which was a relief. I found a spot and sat there waiting for Rose's flight to land. I never met her in person. It was gonna be awkward, for sure. I finally meet her and we share this really awkward conversation for a couple of minutes. Of course. Anyway, we both wanted to use the toilets and with all the bags, we decided to take turns. She went first and I waited guarding our 8 luggage bags. Then it was my turn, so I make my way to the toilets. I'm done doing my usual morning business and I start looking for the faucet. You see, these toilets had no freaking faucet. Just a toilet paper dispenser. Just a toilet paper dispenser. What the heck? I was not prepared for this. Absolutely no training. I was so disappointed thinking of the four years without a faucet. I almost had a meltdown in the toilet. Not sure if I was homesick, missing my parents or missing the faucet. I was missing my parents. I then went out and shared my disappointment with Rose. And this is how our conversation goes. Hey, they don't do faucets here. What the heck? Yep, I knew that. And do you want to know why? Tell me. So people who don't eat spicy food like us Indians poop like goats. What? Goats? Suddenly, I had this image of goats pooping in front of my eyes. If you guys have no idea how goats poop, I'm really sorry I have to do this. It's like perfectly shaped dry marbles. <laughs> I'm so sorry I had to explain it to you guys. On the ride back home, all I thought was how on earth is that possible? The worst thing? I believed her. The fact that I still don't have a reason not to is disturbing. <laughs> okay guys, so that was my first short story time for you all today. I still crack up thinking of the conversation to this day. Also, Rose is now one of my very close friends. 
We got along well and Sydney would have been so boring without her and her stories. Rose, if you're watching this, I need proof of your theory. Love you. For everyone who uses a faucet, you will never know the value of a faucet. Um, I mean, a moment until it becomes a memory. <laughs> Signing off. Don't forget to be kind to everyone, especially yourself. Bye.